Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back to a Radioactive Scale RC. And today we're going to try and bind my new SCX-10 3 Gladiator uh, to my rugged radio. Um, I haven't uh, tried it yet, but we're going to give it a shot and see if we can get get it bound up. They say you can, so we're going to try, and we're going to hopefully get the dig to work also. So I did read the manual on how to bind the uh, DX3 that comes with it in case you lose. Which is this one, which is the DX3, um, which seems to be a nice radio. Uh, I, I I think it'll it would work really well, but I want to have it on my rugged because I have my rugged set up for uh, adding a uh, uh, my GoPro to it down here on a, a link so that I can record uh, my run videos and stuff. So I wanted it on this one. So we're going to try and bind that up today and the steps are pretty simple from what I understand to get it bound and then it's just a matter of getting the dig servo on auxiliary one. It's currently plugged in the auxiliary one um, but according to the instructions we have to unplug that when we um, bind. So we'll be unplugging that which is in auxiliary one. So we're going to, it's kind of hard to see with all the wires here. So hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm sure I'm going to get a bit of audio reception issues when I freaking turn on that uh, DX5. Every time I turn that on when I'm recording, it seems to mess with my audio. So if it does that, I apologize. But uh, so I've got a fully charged battery uh, ready to go to us. And we have to remove the dig, which is auxiliary one, which is this, this first clip here. So that uh, takes out the dig servo and we will connect the battery and I've already got so here we go here comes the audio issues probably I've already got a model set up in the rugged for it uh, just haven't bound and set my endpoints or anything yet so we're just gonna try this so hopefully this doesn't bugger up my audio so we're gonna go to select and we're on the gladiator that I set up so we'll go down to the bind and get into that program. Okay, nope, okay, wrong one. Still getting used to this uh, pad here. So there's bind and we're into bind and we will scroll down until we hit bind, okay. And then we plug in the battery And we hold, there's a bind button on the top. It's just a little button at the top of the ESC. Get that wire out of the way. And we are to hold that when we're turning it on. And I think that's in bind mode. So we're gonna bind. And I think we're bound. So that was pretty easy. Yep, we are bound. Okay, so now we have to figure out the dig. So we're going to shut down the ESC. We're going to, so that's good. I'm glad that bound up that easy. Um, from everything that I saw on the interwebs and on YouTube, that it's doable. There isn't very many of these out there, so I thought I would just do a quick video while I do this because I am wanting to uh, get out and run uh, this weekend, hopefully, if the weather cooperates. Whoops, I unplugged it. I want to make sure I'm getting the right. That goes into channel one. That goes into auxiliary. So now we will, hopefully the audio isn't bad, guys, with the radio on. So now we're going to um, uh, set up auxiliary. Uh, bear with me a sec. This is a first auxiliary set I'm setting here so we gotta find auxiliary uh, there it is auxiliary assign okay and input and I think I'm gonna do it on on the on this one it's the AB button 
so I think I'll do the same on this one. Auxiliary one input. Yeah, it's an EF button, and then I've got the G button. Maybe I'll use the G. So we got to scroll down to, oops, auxiliary one input inhibit. and it's G. Okay. Active inhibit. Active. Okay. Okay. I think we're set. I think. I don't know. Auxiliary is sign, input is G. I'm go back. Back. Let's see. Main screen. And okay, so let's fire up that ESC. Okay, and that servo moved, so we should be, we're in dig now. So I think we got to set, yep, we got to set our endpoints here. So, um, yeah, we're negative, <coughs> negative 100%. see that thing flickering so we're, we're we're in dig right now and if I click it it's out so I don't want it to be holding so we got to figure that out why that sucker is moving like that one um, so bear with me guys I'm just gonna have a look here at the radio and see how I get down to that auxiliary and I'll be right back bear with me a sec okay guys <clears throat> so I got it all figured out um, all you had to do was go into auxiliary one and reverse auxiliary one and then the dig servo goes all the way to the to disengaged uh, when the vehicle's on and then uh, to engage it all I have to do is hold down the uh, G button and once I let go of the G button it'll disengage it <coughs> pardon me so it's all set up ready to go so I'm pretty happy about that it wasn't too hard again you just plug in a fully charged battery disconnect the the dig servo hold the bind button down on the firmware receiver and turn the receiver on until you get the three tones you'll hear beeping and it'll the light will be flashing then you bind to your radio <clears throat> shut everything down reconnect your uh bind sir uh dig servo sorry and go into the radio uh and put it on whatever auxiliary channel of the radio you wish to have it on uh, i put it again on the g which is right down here at the thumb so I just have to push down and it'll engage. I, I might accidentally push it. I, I might change that maybe to the higher one to F or E. Um, but right now I'm going to try it on G and see how that works when I'm out on the trail. Uh, when I'm one-handed, it won't be an issue. Uh, the reason I put the 
GoPro mount on here is so that uh, I can do two hand steering. I, I still find this thumb uh, control a little bit crammed for me to reach. Uh, when I was out with the D90 using it, I had a hard time reaching it and filming with the other hand. So I, I 3D printed a mount for the rugged and I also did a 3D printed mount for my uh, winch um, uh, controller which works really well. It's mounted right on there. Um, I, I'll do a highlight uh, of that on my 3D printing highlights I guess because uh, I can send these out. Anybody interested in that just uh, leave me a comment or, or send me an email. You can find my email in, in my description uh, on YouTube and I can get one of those out to you. I, I don't have any uh, idea how much I'll charge for it right now but I can figure that out uh, when I print off another one and go and slice it and get the the cost of the plastic and everything and then of course my my time and a little bit of but of power and stuff that uh, it takes to, to print those but yeah it turned out pretty good I'm pretty happy with that I have right access to it it fits in there nice and tight and it uh, I just have a small black rubber band there j just in case but it is in there pretty tight there's no glue there's no uh, velcro on the back or nothing it just pushes into this little 3d printed exact replica outside of it and yeah it works good and then I've got a mount that goes on here with some extensions uh, to get my GoPro down a little bit lower and uh, yeah we're going to try that out hopefully this weekend see how that works but yeah so just wanted to do something quick um, I didn't see too many videos of how to uh, set up the dig when you when you bind uh, it wasn't very hard like I said it, you just have to reverse your servo on your auxiliary or just reverse uh, reverse it, your auxiliary whatever auxiliary you put it on and then it it goes I did set some endpoints uh, so that I'm not it does have a, a small it looks like it's got a servo saver on there uh, which I believe it does I see a spring in there so it does have that servo saver to help it a little bit but I just went all the way over and maxed it and then uh, brought my my endpoints back a little bit so that the dig was still uh, engaging but uh, not too far that it wasn't going to cause any issues and then the end point of course is all the way forward uh, which is just by reversing the servo I didn't have to change that end point but yeah just something quick and easy guys just to uh, show you how to bind up your rugged to your SEX 10 3 this is the gladiator it'll probably work the same with any of the firmas because they're, they're pretty standard in all their X SEX 3s now the 40 amp uh, smart ESC we'll see how it works I, I may end up changing it out eventually but uh, they do in the package in the box send you a uh, a receiver box that I'm sure mounts in here somewhere I'd have to look in the manual again but they do give you that if you change out your your uh, firma because it's it's uh, receiver and ESC all in one so there's no need for a receiver box but we're gonna give that a try so yeah so that's it guys uh thanks for watching and uh hopefully this helps others uh, leave me a comment let me know if it helped you and and uh what your plans are for your builds when it comes to the sx uh 10 .3. i'm i'm gonna try and mimic my one-to-one -one gladiator mojave that i have uh shown that in my last video uh, but yeah, if you have, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and click that bell to be notified uh, when I upload some new content and <clears throat> give me a thumbs up and we'll see you at the next one. Everybody stay safe. Cheers.